Steve will do a trash as Brendan Schaub and instantly regrets it. Okay. Brendan Schaub is usually the fucking butt of the joke, dude. I'm interested to see how the fuck this is going to fucking happen, bro. Or like what, what happened here, what the whole situation was. Anyways, YouTube frogs. If you guys want to watch the original video without my commentary slash reaction, first link in the description. If you do decide to stick around and you would, or you did enjoy your stay, feel free to drop a like and a sub. It would mean a lot to me. Also, it would mean the world to me if you checked out my Twitch channel. First, or second link in the description. Uh, yeah. Oh, chat, don't get too excited for The Wolf Among Us. We have a 45-minute react after this, okay? <laughs> but we will probably play it tonight, okay? We're making good time, as long as this doesn't put me on a fucking hour tangent. All right, so recently Steve Will Do It decided to pop off on Brendan Schaub after Dana White posted this video of all the UFC commentators and journalists who were originally talking about how disappointing and underwhelming the UFC 300 card felt right when it was announced, but it turned out to be a good event. So Dana posted this compilation of the people who were originally trashing it as like an F you to his haters. And of course, Brendan Schaub is the first person he shows. He rolled into UFC 300. Uh, the MMA experts weighed in on what they thought of UFC 300. And for all the fighters that were on this card, when I said this is the greatest card ever assembled in the history of combat sports, this is what the media thought of you guys. UFC 300 makes no sense. Is any fight on this card 300 worthy? No. This oh. is the most diabolically disappointing UFC 300 announcement ever. It feels kind of thrown together it doesn't feel like the culmination of something big dude i am nowhere near the ufc space whatsoever right i heard about this ufc 300 bro i heard about the ufc 300 and honestly brendan probably didn't mind being in that compilation because then he could respond to it and talk about it on his podcast but what he wasn't too happy Freak about, out. and I'm sure what caught him off guard... Freak out like me with this video. ...is Steve will do it, seeing this, and then just going off on him on Twitter. Because it seemed like it was kind of out of nowhere. Uh I mean, obviously, it was in response to the <laughs> video that Dana posted. And Steve and Dana are friends, so Steve was trying to defend him. But I don't uh think Dana really even cared that much about it. Because when Brendan responded to that compilation and said, Fair play, UFC 300 was amazing. Dana actually responded to that and said, That's awesome, hashtag respect. So it seemed like everything was good, but I guess Steve didn't see those tweets. Oh, yeah. Chris, what happened to playing a game, then a react, then another game? I, playing a game and then reacts, then game. Or he tweeted before that or something. Or maybe he just really wanted to go off on Brendan Schaub and was waiting for the opportunity. You know what? Oh, I didn't read what he said. I thought he was going to read it. Oh, oops. Or something. I skipped back or too maybe. far. Dana White is... Oh, oh, wait, no, I didn't... Fuck, dude. Holy shit stupid bro brandon schaub more like brandon slob hashtag loser imagine <laughs> bro if you put hashtag whatever okay dude on a tweet i'm fucking not taking you seriously imagine being a former ufc fighter and get introduced by dana white as a podcaster lol brandon schaub loser i mean obviously he's in Damn. response to the i don't think dana really even cared okay. that much about it because when Bra why you bring up old shit Fair play, UFC 300 was amazing. That's awesome. Hashtag respect. Yo, did he even see it? Brendan responded to that compilation and said, fair play, UFC 300 was amazing. Dana actually responded to that and said, that's awesome. Hashtag respect. So it seemed like everything was good, but I guess Steve didn't see those tweets or he tweeted before that or something. Or maybe he just really wanted to go off on Brendan Schaub. Dana White is a top-tier human. Brandon Schaub, you, you're a fucking goofball. I thought you were a former UFC fighter. You failed at comedy, and you can't even talk UFC right. Brandon Schaub is a loser, bro. This is coming off as, like, fucking upset, like, YouTube comments, bro. Like, holy shit, dude. You have nothing else going on in your life, so you need to shit on someone on a YouTube comment section. Like, why is he so heated, bro? Dana White just took a dump on the haters. Brendan Schaub, you're a fucking goofball. Least funniest comedian out there, lol, bro. I thought you were a UFC fighter. You legit fell at comedy and, and talking about UFC. Did he, he just said this... He just said the same thing, pretty much. What the fuck? Um, and was waiting for the opportunity. So Steve is not fucking doing it right now. Oh, he said, Dana White is a top-tier human. To Brandon Schaub, you're an effing goofball. I thought you were a former UFC fighter. Oh, yeah, Sharks. Sharks is on his, uh, don't watch Chrissy for six months, then come back and watch every stream arc right now, I think. 
you failed at comedy and you can't even talk about UFC right. Brandon Schaub is a loser. He also said, Dana White just took a dump on all the haters. Brandon Schaub, you're an effing goofball. Least funny comedian out there. At least he's referring to him as a comedian. You know, I'd say that's a W for Brandon Schaub. <laughs> no, bro, that's fucking crazy, dude. That's fucking crazy. I gotta watch Brandon Schaub's special so I can actually put him put on this. <laughs> Watching Brandon Schaub until... No, stream ends when I laugh at Brandon Schaub joke. <laughs> One of Brandon Schaub's jokes. The stream is just like nine hours long. Yo, what's up, not assigned? How goes a gangster? And then Steve made a couple more tweets and said, Brandon Schaub, more like Brandon Slob, hashtag Bro. loser. Then he also said, imagine being a former UFC fighter and get introduced by Dana White as a podcaster. LOL, Brandon Schaub, loser. So then Brendan responded to this and he's like, man, Steve thinks I'm a failed comedian just because I'm not Joe Rogan or Kevin Hart. And he said, if you think that he's a failed comedian, then you don't understand comedy. So you could tell he's getting pretty defensive, you know, because I'm sure before this, he probably thought him and Steve were cool or he's hoping they were at least, you know, I'm sure Brendan would love to have him on his podcast because, you know, Steve's really popular and he's associated with Nelk, who are insanely popular. And I'm sure if you asked Brendan before these tweets, he'd probably been like, oh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of them. I'd love to have Steve on. But during this video, of course, he's like, I don't know much about him. Dude, what happened to fucking Jesse from Nelk? I got to I got to do a react to that, bro. I gotta do a react to fucking Jesse Nelk fucking debacle. Back when I watched Nelk before they got a little more like political and shit. I mean, they aren't like political, political, you know? But like, they were like very much on the like red pill side. I was like, yeah, I'll wait for them to like not be so red pill anymore and then start watching them again. I feel like they've kind of gotten back to that point. Now, I could probably resume the watching of the Nelk Boys without having to fucking hear about Andrew Tate being sick. I don't know what he does, but he's obviously saying that. Dude, I can literally feel YouTube comments hating me already. Holy shit, this video is gonna, this video is gonna have like 4,000 dislikes, bro. Holy shit, not actually. Okay, I'm not that fucking poppy. It's gonna have 20 dislikes and two likes, okay? Dude, I'm sorry. Myself here. I'm literally, it's gonna be like me the other night when I opened up my fucking YouTube fucking app and the first like four comments were just like people being like you're so fucking immature you need to fucking grow up you fucking loser i've seen fucking i i bet my fucking chair could add a better reaction to this you added nothing to this why the fuck isn't there a or wh why the fuck did you react to this because he's just thrown off and he's like shit this guy hates me like i don't even know that and like i said it did seem like it kind of just came out of nowhere so it makes sense that brendan was caught off guard by this like like uh <laughs> What's it? Steve will do it. He came at me on Twitter. I was like, what? Like, why though? I, he's close with Dana. And I think he's young. I don't know how old he is, but I think he's young. So maybe that's his way of like getting his boys back, which I respect. I get that. But this isn't, you're, you're, you don't know what you're doing. You know, I have a, a, a background. So there's stuff you can go after. Yeah, I was at world champion. No, I'm not Kevin Hart or Joe Rogan, you know? So you can poke stuff at that. It's like, oh, you just don't know, Bubba. Failed comedian. Oh. Told him, Bubba. Oh. Oh, those for me? Mm, I ain't taking that, bro. You ain't calling me Bubba. Oh, buddy. You don't know comedy. You don't know comedy. That doesn't work. From your outside perspective, I'm not at Kevin Hart or Joe Rogan or uh, Sebastian's level. No. Does that mean I failed? Fuck. Then 99.999% of comics fail. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, Brandon Schaub has made a lot of money doing comedy, and he's gone on tours doing comedy. I am I would imagine playing probably like 500 person or more venues. I don't know the exact statistics, but from how much I've heard his name and shit, like, he is, yeah, he is more successful than 99 0.99% of comedians. Like, it's literally that fucking easy. If that's he easy. might be unfunny, and he might be a questionable human being, but yeah, like, he is a successful comedian. Sure. If that's your level, then yeah, all of us are failures so for about five guys in the world to ever do it. So he's just being a dick, you think? Wait, 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 let me rewind this. No. Does that mean I failed? Fuck. Then 99.999% of comics fail. If that's your... If that's your level, then yeah, all of us are failures so for about five guys in the world to ever. 
wait. Is he saying there's only five guys that are more successful than him? Okay. Let's calm down here. Maybe I'm taking it out of context. That's why I had to rewind. I was like, wait, let me hear this again. Maybe. maybe. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's fucking a little uh, high on his own fucking copium here for it to be like, yeah, dude, there's only five people more. More successful than me. Yeah, he ain't no Shane Gillis, bro. He ain't no Shane Gillis. Should be a homewrecker, but he somehow isn't and is dating me, which is not... Oh, wait, okay. It's the five guys that started it. Chris Rock, more successful than than him comedy-wise. Skull emoji. Yeah, bro. Holy fuck. I mean, you... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's not what he meant. Maybe he meant something else. I'm just misunderstanding, but... Or do it. So he's just being a dick, you think? or I, I, I just think he's young. He fires off and... And also, Brennan suggests that... It... I mean, I don't think he's too young if he's hashtag losering his tweets, bro, okay? You gotta at least be a millennial to do that. If Steve's really angry about it, maybe they could fight it out in the back room of Bradley Martin's gym sometime. And he also <laughs> reminds Steve that he has a set of skills. He's like, you know, your skills are making videos, getting drunk with your friends. My skills will F you up. <laughs> so Brennan's not messing around here. And apparently Steve didn't want that smoke. And afterwards he- <laughs> No way! And the edited! And the edited! I want to take back anything I said about Brennan Schaub. The guy is a very nice person and I shouldn't have attacked him. I don't think he is a nasty person. My bad, Brennan Schaub. You're a good guy, I feel. Looked into you more. It's no more nasty- It's no more nasty people in 2024 and I don't believe you're nasty. Responded and walked it back. There's something going on that I don't know about. You're so upset. I can meet you at Zoo Epics. Gym Culture, Zoo Culture, uh, whichever location you want. We can meet there. We can talk about it. If you're so mad, we can go in the back room and figure it out. You sign papers that you're not going to sue or anything like that. We can figure it out. <laughs> No, that, uh, like I don't, but you know what I'm saying. Like I know, that, that's I know how this goes. Never do that, but I know what you're saying. No, but I'm yeah. saying if he, like, if he's that mad, it's like if he wants to, yeah, hurt we can, you. Yeah, yeah, we can figure it out. Dude, the producer has a nice ass voice. Bro, he needs to start his own podcast if he doesn't have one already, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have no problem with that. But you would never. I know you know. Never. No, I don't want to. I, he, I, he seems like he's small too. I don't. So it doesn't. Like I don't come off at a. I'm <laughs> start going to the gym just so I can make people send out apology tweets when I threaten them. <laughs> As a bully, but no, that's real. Me, so it's like if you're that mad, that's an angle. I'm down. I have this this set of skills that I still work on, and the set of skills is not for. Tw These dudes at school are strong. I'm about to start hitting women. What? Good morning, Marinara. Twitter. It's not for Instagram. It's not for Facebook. Those set of skills are for when I'm with my kids and I'm at a car show. Something happens. And you pop off. Yep. And then those skills, while you were busy chugging beer or whatever you're doing or shooting YouTube videos, those are- Shooting your little YouTube videos, fucking popping your little beers. Your skills. These skills are going to f you up. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But I don't want to. I would never. Have I ever in the entire... No, you ever seen dude. me be aggressive with anybody? Dude, I've been with you on... Tw so then after listening to this, Steve walked it back. And I'm sure he just felt bad about it too. He said, I want to take back anything I said about Brandon Schaub. He's still spelling his name wrong. The guy is a very nice person and I shouldn't have attacked him. I don't think he's a nasty person. My bad, Brandon Schaub. You're a good guy, I feel. Looked into you more. It's no more nasty people in 2024. And I don't believe you're nasty. So then Brennan responded and said, all good, brother. And Steve also said, I listened to him talk about me on his podcast. And I'm like, oh, damn, this guy seems like an awesome guy. So I want to take back what I said. Oh. Yeah, so I guess they're able to work things. <laughs> he put you in a headlock. He's out. You know, it's probably <laughs> the shortest feud ever. And yeah, what Brennan the also fuck? claims that him and Dana are cool now, too. So Yo, bro, like, honestly, that's cool, bro. That's cool. They squash that shit, dude. That's nice. We'll see about that. So that's about it. Read this if it was forced. Yeah, I mean, it, it could have been too. That for me, make sure you go check out my Patreon account. I just post a new video on there. And there's probably 70 other videos on there at this point as well. And most of them are over 25, 30 minutes long. More Joe Rogan? <gasps> I need to save this to my watch later so I can I can All garner right, so clout. Yo, shh, shh, shh. Not right now. Not, mm -mm. Not yet.
See, we'll do it. Looks like Mario Lopez dresses. I don't even know what. Oh, Channing Tatum. Okay. Brandon just got another year added to his career. Thanks, Steve. We'll do it. <laughs> Steve will do it and the Nelk boys are some of the few famous people who are actually less talented than Brandon. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. Holy fuck. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. Steve Steve will do it. Great guy. Never met him. Steve, Steve, Steve. You are making people defend Brandon. Yeah, dude. Holy fuck, dude. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, dude. You thought y'all thought this react was boring. Holy fuck. Uh, closing thoughts, though. Yeah, dude. I mean, good on Steve will do for apologizing. I mean, Brandon Shaw probably, like, if they were gonna beef beef, it probably would have culminated in them fucking boxing or some shit. And Steve will do it does not want that smoke, but good on them for squashing things. That's cool. That's cool that they, they could fucking, you know, shake hands and whatever. 